Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. After completing 100% here, technically not 100%, there's still animals to find and horses to find. In fact, you can find 15 of the 19 horses in story mode in the wild, but there are four horses that you cannot find and it's going to cost you a little money. If you found all 15 horses in the wild, you're still going to be missing four of them. Like I said before, you cannot find them in the wild. Unfortunately, it's going to cost you money. The easiest way to do it is to just go to the stables and spend money on horses. John should have some money by the end of the epilogue. In fact, he should have a good deal of money. And outlaying that money for horses shouldn't be a problem. You could actually purchase two of the four missing horses at the Van Horn Stables. And if you ride into the Van Horn Stables and you select manage owned horses, or no, no, you buy horses. There's the Andalusian and the Ardennes are the two horses you can buy. And I'm going to buy the Andalusian and go from there. It costs more for a reason. The easiest way to get a horse's level up is to buy some food. You know, horse provisions, buy an apple, beet, peppermint, hay, whatever you want to buy. And you feed your horse. You also complement it and you brush it frequently. You get the horse level up. And you want to keep these horses, go ahead. To be honest with you, I'm only buying them to just complete the compendium of horses. You automatically start out with level one bonding. Again, you can um, feed the horse something, carrot. Horses like carrots. And your horse will appreciate it and you'll be able to bond with it. Level 1 bonding, you can sell the horse at the next stable if you want to, which is what I'm really going to do. As you can see, the horse was filled in. There was that empty spot. Buying the horse will fill it in. Next stable, hopefully, I'll be able to fill in the next horse. I rode to the St. Denis stable. Manage owned horses. I'm going to sell Frisky for about half of what I paid for it. Now, there's no horse. I need to buy another horse or saddle up Rachel. So, what I'm going to do is buy a horse. Up, oh, not a Nakota, a Torque, a Torcoman. That's kind of a lovely horse. 950 bucks. And I will call him, hmm, what will I call him? How about something with a T? Yeah. 
and I'll call him Terry. And it turns out Terry is a male. So, what the hell? And he's saddled up, and I'll make friends with him, and I'll probably keep him, because he's actually a nice-looking horse. Next horse I'm picking up is at the Southfield Flats Stable. It's the stable that is southwest of Emerald Station, and it's the Ardennes. So, I'm just going to buy the horse. It's the cheapest one you can buy. Of sorts, and I'm just gonna call it um, Annie, even though it's probably gonna be a guy because I'm really not gonna keep this horse. And in the end, you end up selling the horses for half. I did keep Terry though because kind of a good horse, and yeah, this is kind of your short, stocky war horse type. And again, I am going to sell him anyway. So let's move on to the final horse that you can buy and where you can buy it. The final horse on my list, I believe, can only be bought at the Blackwater Stables. And the horse is the Missouri Fox Trotter. Um, they're supposed to be one of the best horses next to the Turkoman, and this one I'm going to call Spot. As you know, the only horse I probably kept out of this was Terry because I liked him. Spot, on the other hand, well, I just wanted to complete the whole compendium of horses. And that's actually probably going to be my next goal if I do a fourth playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 is complete the compendium 100% versus the game at 100%. But I digress. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I put out five video game related videos a week, Monday through Friday. And I may do some specials on the weekend. And you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And yes, I'm going to show that I have completed all of the horses. Here you go. Oh. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.